Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome to this week's Mythic Plus Tip of the Week. Um, this week, we're going to be talking about the Lanterns and Sanguine Depths, how to use the buff, which is called Sinfall Boon, and how to optimize the Anima Drain. Basically, optimal use of the Lanterns can help you go through this dungeon significantly quicker and making sure that you know like pretty good strategies just even at a base level to be able to deal with these Lanterns can help you out a lot. Of course, some of these are a little bit more nuanced than others um some of them are going to require you to be able to like run through the dungeon maybe there's going to be some skips involved that kind of thing but at the same time uh the these usage of the lanterns and just making sure that you're able to refresh your 10 stacks you know how to refresh at proper times you know under what conditions there are some gimmicky things that you may be able to uh, be looking to do those kinds of things will certainly help you just maintain higher amounts of stacks and be able to use things in like Kill Executor Tarvald quicker. There are certain times where if you have like Prideful plus the Sinfall Boon, you can actually go into Tarvald and kill him in 30, 45 seconds even. And that's actually great. So what do you need for this? Basically, the, at its base level, all you need is like a Venthyr for this dungeon. There isn't a whole lot that we're going to be talking about today that is like super necessary. There are, of course, some affix things that I'm going to discuss that you can do for or use for optimal lantern usage, but that's on a week by week basis. So basically, all you really need is a Venthyr. For basic management, what your goal is, is you're trying to extend the stacks as long as possible. Killing mobs towards the end of the lantern duration will help you maximize the amount of stacks you gain, and it'll also help you maximize the amount of duration that you're going to be having these stacks for. I'm going to be linking a Wago of a week or that will show you like the Anima Drain Timer and how much longer you have left on, uh, on the consumption of the souls into the Lantern. That will give you the Sinfall Boon stacks. I'll link that down in the description if you want that. It's very useful, making sure that you know the duration of the lantern circle and making sure that you're maximizing that at its base level is just like the core functionality of what you should be doing in sanguine depths going from lantern to lantern this is one of the most important things and gaining the initial stacks of the buff is very important but there are some lanterns that you're able to extend the stacks by like either like invis potioning or just like uh, just running from lantern to lantern and basically there are three lanterns that are after Crixus and before Tarvald that you're able to extend and making sure that you're pathing around these and just utilizing them to maximum effectiveness is going to speed up your dungeon by a significant amount. If you have a 10 stack of this buff plus like Prideful, like I said, you can even kill Tarvald very quickly. And I'm going to be showing on screen right here some of groups like extending their 10 stack. You're going to be seeing like groups uh, either extending it at the very end, running from lantern to lantern, that kind of thing. That was from Does the Bear Stream during the uh, latest Great Push. And that just like shows you how you're supposed to be doing it. I also have a graphic where I've marked the locations of the three lanterns that you're going to be trying to go in between. Of course, you do have two minutes. or I think it's 90 seconds of the buff. Actually, it's not two minutes uh, where you're able to do that. But then the Anima Drain is for a very, very long time. And you're able to effectively do this for, you're going to have like two and a half minutes or something like that in between these lanterns if you're maximizing it to its fullest potential. So there are definitely some ways that you have to be able to path through this dungeon. And this can be a little bit difficult for pug groups, but at the same time, it's something that if you tell people in advance, hey, we're going to be invis, invis potioning at this point, I think from um, this, this point right here all the way to this other lantern that I have marked right here, I think at that at those points, if you were doing something like that, then it should be really, really easy to be able to at least get that refresh. The third one, eh, it's kind of annoying because there's vestiges in the way and you're probably gonna get a pride at some point and people aren't gonna be like as aware of what to do. So maybe that's not exactly the most useful thing. Let's talk about some alternative forms of extension and some other ways that you're able to extend the lantern buff that are super beneficial. First off, affixes. So, Affixes such as Spiteful and Explosive also interact with the Anima Drain. This means that you can get really, really late extends and bonus stacks whenever these affixes are active. They're actually active right now on Live Realms if you're watching this today. Um, yeah, during the Great Push as well, basically every group was extending their stacks super late. And you can see a clip right here of Ambition. They were, they were extending their stacks very late. They do a great job of being able to just make sure that they go right at the very end, get that last Spiteful killed off, and then just like refresh the 10 stack while they're fighting like in the middle of that pride. And, and this is just excellent usage of 
the lantern. They know the timing. You could hear Nerf in their comms talking about how long they have on the lantern. And like I said, download that Weekora. It's great for you to be able to tell how much longer you have on the lantern, whether or not you need to prio down that mob or whether or not you can passively cleave it down and it'll die just at the very end. Those things are pretty important. Another alternative form of extension comes with the Stonewall Gargans that spawn during the Call Gauntlet. This is absolutely critical. And using that lantern that is in the hallway and making sure that you're able to get 10 stacks, making sure that you're freshing it at the last possible moment, and then you're going up the hallway with your 10 stacks and all of your damage cooldowns and blowing up a, a big trash pack right at the end of that lantern, absolutely can speed up the dungeon by a significant amount and it will allow you to have 10 stacks to the buff for an incredibly long time basically longer than it, most of these other lantern buffs because you're able to get the 10 stacks so quickly by killing off all those cadets and all those other shitter mobs that don't really do anything and yeah i mean obviously if you're able to go through and get those three lanterns together you're gonna have you're gonna have a 10 stack of that 50 percent damage gain for like six minutes or something like that. If you do this, you're going to get 10 stacks almost immediately. You're going to be able to refresh it at the very end. And you're going to also have 10 stacks of that buff for something in the range of like three minutes, which is a great, great, maybe two and a half, something like that. But yeah, basically all of these things are very easily doable in weekly keys and normal runs. And I feel like whenever I watch like pug groups or I'll be pugging myself, a lot of these groups are getting like two, three, four stacks. You should never be only getting like two and four stacks per lantern. That is just a crime and that's going to be slowing you down. So make sure that you're implementing these at least in some form or fashion in your normal runs. Try to play around the lanterns as much as possible. And that is going to do it today. That's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next tip of the week.